tell us about what goes into organizing an event like this. Actually, a lot of work. I started planning this on um, January of last year. I pulled the trigger on September 15th. By November 15th, all of my tables were sold out. You know, all my dealer tables, all my artist tables, which showed to me the region wanted something like this. Then, based on my attendance today, you can definitely tell the region wanted something like this. And I am happy to be the driving force behind it. We were looking attendance-wise between 300 and 500, and we've well exceeded over a thousand for sure. Wow! Wow! Yeah. So awesome, amazing turnout. Uh, I'm with Media Geek of Northwest Indiana. Uh, we're a social group within the Northwest Indiana area. Uh, we just do kind of general meetups where people that are into kind of nerdy, geeky stuff can meet up and geek out about certain things. Um, we kind of span all different genres, whether it be sci-fi, fantasy, comic books, anything, you name it. Uh, there's at least one member that has something that you'll probably be interested in. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, booth that you're hosting today? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Uh, we just had the first issue of our Western come out. Uh, it's called The Empty Grave, Daddy's Little Girl. Uh, it's a revenge Western set in the Old West uh, with a female bounty hunter. So we're selling the first issue of that. Uh, we're selling prints, and we've also got uh, magnets for sale. Okay, and uh, what do you think of the convention? Oh, it's great. Uh, it's been a terrific turnout so far. Um, there's, it seems like there's a lot of people here. We've been able to sit and talk to a lot of people, too. So, And it's only, what, 11, 11, 15? So, I mean, so far, it's been going really well for us. I am from the Bristol Renaissance Fair. We're located just on the Illinois-Wisconsin border. So from here in northwest Indiana, it's less than half a tank of gas. So we're well within means to get there. What what period exactly does the, uh, the Bristol Renaissance Fair cover? The Renaissance Fair, well, we, we're a chapter of history rather than a page. The cast itself is in the year 1574. But we see everyone from old time periods that come through the gates. We've seen Roman centurions, we've seen World War II paratroopers, we've seen, well, whatever time period the doctor's from, and so everything in between. What, whatever you wish to dress as, you're welcome to come to Bristol because we are the land where fantasy rules. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your booth today here at the convention? Yeah, we're uh, basically a bunch of production companies that have joined together in what's Northwest Indiana Film Group. So you can think of it as a collective of all these different companies who are basically doing everything under the sun between short films and feature films and producing a lot of our own projects. So uh, really today we have the booth here to highlight that and basically show off the projects that are occurring here in Northwest Indiana that quite a lot of people probably do not know are actually going on. So. And uh, what do you think of the convention so far? Uh, pretty impressed? I'm extremely impressed because I, I don't think I was imagining this big of a turnout. So uh, we're doing a panel at 3 o'clock. Now I'm a little bit more nervous than I thought I was going to be. Indiana Ghostbusters. Um, what we do is we uh, we dress up, we make appearances for charity uh, or for a donation to charity. Um, we do different things like uh, conventions like this. Um, we've also done like haunted house appearances. Just anything you want the Ghostbusters to come out to, uh, you know, we'll be there. Can you tell me a little bit about your costume? Uh, the costume, yeah, the costume consists of a few different parts. Um, I've got the proton pack. Uh, the jumpsuit, it's just a, uh, a standard flight suit. Um, the patches are all custom made. Um, the belt gear, uh, there's a lot of different things that you can put on the belt. Uh, there's a gizmo that doesn't have an official name, it's just the gizmo. Um, we've got our trap here, uh, PKE meter. So um, there's a lot of different pieces to it. It takes a long time to put it all together. Um, for the proton pack itself, I've collected almost a year collecting all the parts for it. Um, this is actually the second one that I built. We're representing the 501st Legion. 501st Legion is the world's definitive imperial costuming organization with the blessing of Lucasfilm and now Disney. We do uh, multiple charity 
functions. We raise charity money for Make-A-Wish, Salvation Army, organizations such as that. And uh, we're a worldwide organization. We have over almost 7,000 members now. And uh, what, uh, what do you think about the convention here in uh, Northwest Indiana region today? It's impressive. It's most impressive. Several people are here for first year, first year con. This is pretty nice. Okay, look.